You know, having the ability to use a mouse and a keyboard across all of your devices, whether you're on a Windows or whether you're on a Mac, certainly helps out the workflow. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and configure Logitech Flow. What is going on everybody and welcome back to a tech tip today. We're gonna do something a little bit more specific than just kind of a broad tech tip. We're talking about a software called Logitech Flow. This software allows you to simultaneously use a mouse or keyboard to control the different operating systems or even copy and paste or send over file transfers across a local network. Now before we jump into this head first, there are a few things that you are going to need to do beforehand and also a few things that you are going to need. First thing that you're gonna need is a Flow compatible keyboard and or mouse, such as the MX keys and the Master 2S. However, I will leave a full supported device list in the video description below. The next thing that you're going to need is two different machines, expandable up to three. For today's demonstration, we're gonna be using a Windows desktop and a MacBook Pro. So a few other important things to take note is all of the devices that you're going to be setting up under Logitech Flow, you will want to have them connected to the same network. Next thing that you're gonna to want to do is of course, take your hardware, your keyboard or your mouse and pair them to each one of the devices. Download and install the Logitech option software on each one of the devices because that does need to be there in order for you to enable Logitech Flow. First step that you're gonna to want to do is on each device, go ahead and open up the Logitech options and just verify that you have Logitech Flow enabled. It's then on automatically gonna start searching the network for other computers that have the Logitech Flow enabled. If for any reason it doesn't find one, you can always force the search by clicking the little plus sign over here on the right hand side. Quick pro tip, if you're having issues getting your iOS or Mac OS device connected, verify that you do have the required permission selected under the accessibility window. Now that we've got the devices connected to each other, let's jump on in the software and see what kind of tweaks we can make. Perfect, once you guys have Logitech option installed, open up the program and then you're gonna want to select one of your uh, devices. In this case, I'm just gonna click on the mouse and then we're gonna click on Flow as the third tab to get into the Flow settings. From here, you've got the Logitech Flow switch. This will, of course, enable or disable Logitech Flow. Switch between computers. This is kind of the behavior on how you want to be able to swap between the two. It defaults to move to the edge, but if you're frequently moving around on your desktop, there might be times where it's gonna to move to the new computer or the different machine without you wanting to. So that's why I have hold control and then move to the edge because that allows me to be like, okay, I need to move to the edge, I'll hold control, move to the edge, and then it will transfer over to the other machine. Screen corners, this will allow you to enable or disable it, and if you disable it, you can see in the picture right there in the middle that the bottom left and bottom right, or the top left and top right, depending on the machine, you cannot use those corners in order to transfer over to the other desktop. You have to be more towards the center. This is perfect if you have hot corners set up on a Mac, it won't interfere with that, and will allow you to use them both simultaneously. Copy and paste, of course, this is the um, sole function of Flow. This will allow you to copy and paste text, photos, files, etc. across, but if you wanna disable that and you just want to be able to control each machine, you can click on that and then select disabled. Link the keyboard. If you have a compatible keyboard that works with Flow, as you can see, I've got one right here, the MX Keys wireless keyboard. That will show up in the list. If you don't have one, it's automatically gonna be set to disabled. But what this allows you to do is if you move your mouse over to a different machine, you have the ability to bring the functions of the keyboard over with it as well. Now, to move things around and orient your machines, you can then just move these around depending on how you have your machine set up. If you have multiple devices, you can then left click on the plus over here. That's gonna go through, it's gonna start searching the network again for a third device, allowing you to set it up on that one and then reconfigure all of those together. What we're gonna do is currently right now, we are controlling the Mac. You can see if I wiggle the mouse, the cursor expands, we're gonna move up and control the window. So if I hit control and then I move to the top of the Mac, it then bumps me over to the Windows machine. I have it set up on control just because there's a lot of times where I hit the end, edge of the screen, I don't want it to go back and forth without uh, without you know me wanting it to. So what we're gonna do is because this is dependent on software, transferring large files can get interrupted. So you probably wanna keep it pretty lightweight. Like in this case, we're gonna transfer some photos and then we can also transfer some text. So right now I've got three photos that say I wanna move over to the MacBook Pro. So if we open up brush three, you can see what this photo looks like. It's right there. If we close that, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all three of these and I'm gonna right click 
and click on copy. Now, of course, you can right click copy, right click paste, you can uh, control or command C and V, all of those different types of methods are going to work. But in this case, I'm going to left click or right click and then left click on copy. Now, once again, I'm going to hold control because we're still on the windows. I'm going to hold control, move down to the bottom of the windows, and now we're controlling the Mac. Because I can't right click and paste on a Mac, we're going to hit command V and it's going to transfer those files over. Now, photos in general are pretty small, uh, so it doesn't really take much time. But if you were to transfer a larger file, you're going to get a progress bar on one of the machines that you're transferring from. So in this case, it was quick. But if we bring up that brush three photo again, you can see that I now have it on the Mac. And that's all there is to it. By now, everything should be set up and you should be able to control or copy paste files, text, etc. But keep in mind that this is a software program and it's also using your local network. So transferring over large files can take some time. And with that, that is going to wrap up this week's tech tip. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked it and got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it to somebody that you know that may use this and use Logitech Flow. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and enable that bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.